Shalom, Shalom, call Halayim, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honor to the apostle, the elders of Great Millstone, teacher rule well, now oversee the tabernacle of David. Started with uh, Rabbi Abba Bims on down to Apostle Hart on down. Shalom on to the hopefully lick that's giving diligence to make the cardinal lecture short across the four corners of the earth. Shalom on to the angels of witness this day. And shalom on to the sincere Akwafium, sisters that subject to the truth and awesome and sincerity. All right. And I just want to go into, um, through, this, through this fearful time. You know, Pasak, man, because this is this is a very heavy time in the spirit of meditating. You know, meditating on the on the brothers, meditating on on the spirit. Period. You know, on on just on the spirit. Period. On yourself. You know, and it, it is a fearful time, man, because you know you hear we we hear the sift we hear the sifting story. We hear we understand the the account of Judas Iscariot. You know, in the scriptures that that the um, that turned it back on um, Yahweh Shai. You know. So this is this is this is a very fearful time, you know, to examine yourself and and, and see and and uh, basically wonder if you've been the, the 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 correct example, you know, the correct example. Let's get I'm gonna get that uh, etymology of example. Um, example, okay, okay, because we are examples, man. We we are the leaders. We the judges and and priests on the earth, man. Okay, we don't we don't hold a small position. Okay, even if you're not um, the main speaker in the camp, you know, you we we are not. Um, look at look at that, look at that, that spirit. Look at the spirit. One forty four, man. <laughs> One forty four. Okay, and then those are just many. Those are just um, minor faith boosters. When you see when you see the signs of One forty four, that should tell you that the glory of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh is always in control, man. Okay, I was just with the uh, um Yikwa, Okay, a brother down here in Atlanta with me. You know, in the faith, okay, and we see one one forty four man. When we get, hey, it just it puts a smile on your face, okay. You like, hey, there goes the man again. There you go, you know. And but that, that should make you look like, damn, am I being the 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 right example, the right ambassador, the right presenter for Yahweh Hashem Yahushua, okay? And now we're going to the etymology of an example in the late fourteenth century. It says in an instant typical of a class. It says a model, either good or bad. So yeah, we got. That's why I said the right example. Okay, because we, we got bad examples. We got the bad leaders, man. Look at Farrakhan. Look at the other groups, man. Bad examples because they're going off in the doctrine. You know, they're not moving in, in a wise spirit. You know, you want you don't want to tempt Satan, man. Satan's going to come regardless. <laughs> you don't have to tempt him. He, Esau's going to come down like a flood regardless. And that's when we're going to hope Yahweh Bashem Yahshua lift up that standard. Okay, so it says either good or bad, action or conduct as an object or imitation. So, yeah, action or conduct. We got to watch our actions, you know. You, we don't want to bear false witness, you know. You don't want to offend a brother because that may be how about some little ones, the elect, you know. So you want to move in the right spirit, you know, in the correct spirit. It says, an example to be avoided, punishment as a warning. Mm. It says, I'll go down, it says an old French sample model example. It says, image portrait pattern model. It says, a warning example. And who look it says one that serves as a warning look who we are warning the people man we are that warning you see the prophets of the hebrew israelites on the, on the corners teaching spreading the gospel man that's that warning this that's that that is yahweh bashmi asha warning you okay through his men he speaks through his prophets he revealeth his secrets in his prophets pertaining to amos 3 and 7 so this is not no this is not no light position that we hold man we don't need to be the president of the united states you know <laughs> In the student government association, you know, we just we hold, bro. We have the spirit. We truly, people don't understand. That's why I said many folks in the household was the, even your own family and friends don't know who who you really are, man. They know you. They 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 look at it as a religion or just some phase, you know. They don't understand. They don't understand that the prophet is among them right now, but they will. It's gonna be made man manifest, and we, and that's what and that's why this thing is is about to be even more beautiful. It's about to be beautiful, man. Damn. It says, <clears throat> I think I hit the point. It says one that serves as a warning. I think I hit the point of being that example. Okay. It says to take or distribute. Yeah, we distribute in the spirit. Okay. In sincerity. Okay. In sincerity, man. Dude, that's that love. Okay. I, I'll, start with, I'll start with that in Mark. I ain't went to the scripture in a minute. Okay. That's that love. All right. Let me get, uh, oh, this is it. Uh yeah, I, I start with love. Okay, 
that's I think that's it. Mark chapter twelve, verse twenty nine. And Yahweh shall answer him. The first of all the commandments is here, O Israel, the Lord our that Lord our power is one Lord. Okay? So yeah, Shami, Yasha Allah, Yahweh, Allah Hayuwa, Yahweh Achad, man. All right, that's a, that's that's the that's the script in Hebrew. That's and you see that's quote that's a really quote from Deuteronomy chapter six verse four, you know verse thirty, and thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment, you know. This is it, this is it, man. Okay, we this is the time you examine and see if you are are you are you are you are you, are you expressing or in, in employing that example of love. With the you know with fellow oh let me just bring that out again because me, me and Audrey brought out fellowship too, you know fellowship let's, let me get that real quick. Fellowship it says companionship a body of companions but the, hold on this spirit the spirit is a hey, this is heavy right here hold on let me go down it says to fellowship is is to hold communion with to unite within doctrine and discipline man, woo <laughs> that's heavy. To unite with doctrine and discipline, so that love and you and to, and to, for that true love to be to be there in all sincerity, you have to be on one accord. I never had you never felt love like this before, man. To you really you really understand what love truly is when you're around the occupant, man. You can just feel it. In many many words don't have to be said in anything, just to know that the next man next to you is doing something that you would die for. You know, doing tilling the earth, doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahusha, on one accord, a hundred percent in agreement. You don't get that in this world, man. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Y'all agree on something, you know, with your with the this, especially with the pollutions of this world. It's so it's so all over the place, and this truth is vast as well. Okay, but with that wise counsel, we on one accord, you know. Discipline with discipline. Okay, let me see if that disciple. Let me see if that word too. Oh, the site says disciple, one who falls another for the purpose of learning. Okay, aren't we disciples? Okay, aren't we all learners of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh through the order? Through the order of the apostles and elders of the great millstone, man. The true order. It's only one true order. Okay, it says the personal follows of Yahweh Shah during his life. The twelve, the twelve apostles chosen. Okay, and we also we, we chosen to be the disciples. This spirit is nothing to, you know, to take for granted at all, you know, because it can it can easily be taken away. You know, that's why you look at that, that. That's why that Psalms chapter 51 verse 11 is so heavy. You know, La'ah, uh, no, cast me not. La'ah thasalakneya. You know, thasalayakneya. Okay? Cast me not, you know, from thy, from thy presence. Uh, malapanyaka. Malapanyaka, right. That, from my presence. Um, wa, wa, racha, kadashka. La'ah thakak. My, my la, mama, mama yan, mama yan, yeah. So yeah, cat is really going to uh, cast me out of our presence and take out that Holy Spirit, okay, from me. Yeah, that's where you get that mama yan. All right, I just want to say that real quick. This is just through the spirit, you know. It's just, it's just so heavy. Psalm chapter fifty one eleven in Hebrew is just so heavy when you say it in Hebrew. Throw it the prayers in the Hebrew, okay. Well, we get back to the get back to the scripts. You know, we just had to jump to the etymology, and it's good to go to the etymology because the words, the study, the and what does the etymology mean? The study of truth, and what do we do? Study the truth of the words, man. Okay, it's so heavy. It's just so heavy. But you know, Jake, you know, Israel, just everybody just not gonna get it, man. They don't understand. All right, this is First John chapter two verse twelve. I write unto you, little children. It's like I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven. Are forgiven you for his name's sake. See, our sins are forgiven. We are filthy rags. That's why he got that grace and mercy because of Yahweh Shah. You know? He that's why that's that vital position, that mediator, the intercession. Verse 13, I write unto you, Father, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men, because ye have overcome the wicked one. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the Father. Mm, that's that predestination. Okay, we know him in the past. Like, hey, prophets are subject to prophets, right? Um, and that's really going to the same thing. All right. And I want to get also, uh, James, let me go to James chapter four, but just going to that example, just being that example. All right. And, and, and part of being that example is also looking at yourself and examining yourself and seeing, are, hey, are you, 
Look at am I being am I humble? Am I humble through the spirit? Okay. This is James chapter 4, verse 9. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he shall lift you up. You know, this because this, look, that's this, that's the that's the um mindset of this time, this, the time for sock, man. It's lucky, okay. This is this is time, you know, this <laughs> fearful time, man. This is the time to increase, you know, mourn and weep. Our laughter, we, the spirit is heavy. That's that joy of heaviness. We we still joy, you know, when we weak, we are strong, okay. We are at our best, still, man. But we could be in a humble and uh, um, humble spirit, okay. And we're going to seek that reward. Let me get that out of 2nd Ezra's. 2nd Ezra's chapter 2, verse 42. All right. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 42. Oh, I, let me go ahead and read it down. Hold on. 2nd Ezra chapter 2, verse 42. I, Ezra, saw upon the Mount Zion a great people. Who, Mount Zion, man, Yasha Allah, a great, a great people, a, a special nation above every nation on the face of the earth. Whom I could not number, and they all praised the Lord with songs. And in the midst of them, there was a young man of a high stature, taller than all the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns and was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. Yahweh Shah, man. Okay? We want that crown to be put on our head. You know? We'll be bowing down to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay? Yahweh Shah. To get to Yahweh. You know? The Father. Verse 44. Okay? And Ezra saw these great, these great visions, these great end time visions. So I asked the angel and said, "Sir, what are these?" He said, "He answered and said unto me, These be they, they that have put off the mortal clothing and put on the immortal.' Okay, because we gonna we want to be changed. We in this, we in this flesh, man. It's mortal. We worried about our flesh kicking in sometimes. Demons come to our thoughts, you know. Especially a strong demon, bro. A strong demon that have you not thinking that you're not a man of the Lord. That's a damn. That's a strong demon, man. You know." It'll have you thinking like, damn, maybe he's not dealing with me. You know, that demon will come on you. But you gotta knock that off. You gotta you gotta overcome that demon. What you and what you do to get off demons? We got we got spiritual, we got spiritual um uh spiritual techniques to get it off, man. Praying, fasting, fellowshipping, you know, studying, reading. Okay? We had these things um for our disposal for hey to to increase in the spirit. To maintain in the spirit, okay? To endure to the end. It's, a, it's, a, it's basically to put off that mortal clothing and put on that immortal. Because the immortal is going to be put on the elect, okay? And the elect is going to do it anyway. Because we, we do everything. We endure everything for the elect's sake. We do all things for the elect's sake. All right? And it says, and have confessed the name of the Most High. Now are they crowned and received psalms. We confess in the name of Yahweh, okay? In the, in the doctrine. Okay, and what what the fellowship what did the fellowship go into in that discipline? Okay, we must have discipline, especially in these times. It takes discipline to maintain that focus. It takes discipline to fellowship. It takes discipline to accept rebuke, to re, to accept reproofing from other brothers. Okay, and it's all for the better. Okay, of, of your spirit. All right, we trying to get that crown, man. That reward is coming. It's definitely coming. It's not a. This is not no fair tale. It's not a game at all. This is not a game to us at all. Okay, but I finish off with Second Timothy chapter four verse seven. All right. It says, uh, Second Timothy chapter four verse seven. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. That's what. We, that's what we want to be able to say at the end of this thing. You know, that's what we want to be. Able, we want to be able to look back and like, damn. You know, with tears coming down our eyes, man. Hey, we 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 here, man. We here, with champions. You know, champ. <laughs> you know, and let's let's go, champ. You know, we have kept the faith. The I'm a one. It's beautiful. This thing is beautiful, man. I'm just I'm happy to be be a part of this thing. You know, even even be more happy if, if I'm of that number. You know, <laughs> that's the goal. That's goal, man. And, it's, and I'm grateful for the ministry. Great, grateful for the uh, mercy, grace and mercy for Yahweh by Shmuel Shah. You know. All right. So this is brother Shema, and let's, let's let's keep the faith. All right. Let's keep the faith, all right? So I'll get it. I end up by giving all the glory and infinite praise unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakhah Kadash. Double honors to the Apostle Elders, a great millstone, who teach and rule well in the overseas tabernacle of David. Peace, love, and say to the hopefully let that give diligence, may the call elect sure, and that do not delay. All right, and Shalom, keep the faith.